there she is. There's Morticia. That is my two K gecko. She's finally out. I actually got her a big cage. I got her zoo med. I changed her cage. So she's actually a lot happier because this is a, an arboreal cage. It's better than what she was in. But now she's happy and she's out. I was about to open it. I didn't realize she was out on the side there. I was actually going to feed them crickets. That's what I'm trying to do. And then I was like, oh, wow. She's actually out. There's Tiki. Tiki's such a little fatty. It's like you got a little Buddha belly on him. There's Tiki. Tikers. But yeah, that's Morticia. Oh, don't be afraid, Morticia. It's okay. She is beautiful. I'm happy she's finally out, though. And uh, she's definitely, definitely loving this cage. I love this cage. I gotta put more. I was about to put more um, bedding in it because I'm actually working on setting it up still. <laughs> There's her cork bark. She got a nice, beautiful live plant put in here. But yeah, that's actually a nice big enclosure for her. Cause, yeah. Because it's the Zoo Med. It's 16 by 16 by 18 or 20 or something. Something like that. But yeah, that's her cage. I got it for a nice price. I was happy about the price. There's Tigers being bad. I think Avery finally went to the bottom of her cage. Yeah, she did. I actually got to... I actually got to change her bulb still. This cage I'm now working on. As you see, I changed it. This 10 gallon will be home to a new baby that's coming soon. I'm getting the rest of the stuff for it Sunday. They will be here Tuesday. Super excited, but you will see once I'm done. Ah, new changes are coming, guys. New changes. Super excited. Oh, the air is, the air is really cold. I need to shut this window. Definitely, definitely shutting that window. There's a little crack because it does get pretty warm in my room. There's Pumpkin! Pumpkin's out. Willow's over there making taller freaking mess. She's getting my nerves tonight. But yeah, I'm about to feed the children. Because that, that time of night... I always make a certain time I like to feed them. The girlfriend down here is waiting. <laughs> oh, God. I love my baby girl. She's just amazing. Oh, yeah, I forgot to turn the freaking flashlight off. Oh, that air is definitely cold. Turn my fan down. Can't have it too cold for these guys. Oh no no. Can my baby's freezing. <laughs> Here's my anole. I think it's sleeping. Is she sleeping? She looks yeah, she's sleeping, but she's nice and green. I don't know I know she's nice and toasty. That's good. Yeah. That's nice and warm. Good. Well, there's Lily. See her tail on her butt. I'm surprised she's in Zeus's spot. I guess she realized Zeus had a really good spot and she took over. Lily is so demanding. 
Oh, look at her. She's sleeping. Okay. Time to feed the crackheads. I always wait until late at night when they start to come out to feed these guys. Is Leo not out yet? Hmm. I'm surprised Leona's not out. She's a slacking. I wonder why my girlfriend's slacking. Oh, I forgot to turn on her lamp. Oopsies. I have to have their lamps on tonight. They gotta stay on. It's 35 degrees outside. It's pretty freaking cold. Which, actually, I gotta do Avery's. Which I need to do, like, right now. Before her cage, her cage gets too cold. Good evening, guys. No changing, and look who actually came out. Well, at least I caught her for a second. <laughs> so that's how it always goes. That's how everyone's doing. At least I caught her. I didn't think she would actually come out. Especially with the lights on. She don't ever come out with the lights on. She probably saw crickets. I put crickets in her cage. My cute little Bella. She is my western bandy gecko. Well, not western bandy gecko. She's a bandy gecko. She's an African bandy gecko. Avery's thinking about what to do. You gonna go back, Avery? She's so silly. Let's see. <laughs> There's Clary. Clary! Like I said, I just fed everyone crickets. So, they are on the hunt. Clary's over there, huh? I'm gonna bait us out. Sometimes she's at the bottom. I don't see Miss Beta. <gasps> Pumpkin! And there's a glare. There's Pumpkin! Just chilling on the side. She's so cute. Or he. That's why I named it Pumpkin, because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. I don't see anybody out. There's one of the dusted crickets. <laughs> it's all white. Nope. Everyone's getting ready for bed. This cage is empty. I think I did a good job working on this cage. Wait until you see what I put in here, guys. It's gonna look so cute. I put a live plant in there, but I think I did it up pretty nice. Let's see if anybody can guess what I'm getting Tuesday for this enclosure. It's for a baby. A baby's going in there. Speaking of babies. I can't wait to get paid. Well, I paid more money. I had a sale today. I sold some crystals and gems and stuff to my the lady that I normally sell to. I did it early in the morning. But I did a sale. I got some stuff for my animals. Luckily, I able to sell rocks and minerals and gems to make money for my babies. Because I'm sharing them here on YouTube. But that's okay. I still like making videos anyways. But I know when I get paid, I'm gonna, when I get, of course, I need, I'm gonna fill this up with a lot more sand. I keep digging it all up on this side. You see it gets higher. But, and then towards the back, it's higher. But, yeah, that's gonna be. There's my tokay. Here's Morticia. She's so cute. She's out hunting. Everybody has live plants in their cage. Except for the new baby. No, the new baby does have a live plant. Okay, never mind. Everyone has live plants in their cage. I always make sure everybody has, except for the gnolls. 
And those are the only one because what they do to plants is ridiculous. I stick a lot of fake plants in a nose cage because the simple fact that they actually poop horribly. They're, they're like worse than birds. I love birds, but they're worse than birds. They poop and destroy everything. These, these guys, they just poop near their water dishes or something. There's Leona. Leona's getting a drink. God, I clean out your guys' water bowls more than anything else in this world. It's alright, Leona. She's too cute. But I am actually going to go finish doing my nighttime routine. And we'll be back in a little bit. Ready, Anna? So we'll be back soon. Avery's so cute. She's sleeping curled up on her uh, fluke vine. <laughs> She's just hugging it. She's too adorable. There's my Tokay. There's more Tisha. Loving it. Her enclosure. I can't use the front door of her Zilla enclosure. She keeps freaking just chilling on the door. Thank God. Zilla enclosures have three different spots to open these doors. So, But she's just chilling right there. God, I can't wait till Tuesday see anybody else out I don't want to keep the light on for long I don't want to bother Avery but I'm actually in the middle of feeding my tarantulas I just fed the pink toe she hasn't moved though I fed I fed the two crusties babies and Pumpkin, but pumpkin's just sitting there. Pumpkin hasn't gone after the crickets yet. I stuck two small crickets in there for pumpkin, and then I stuck three inside of Wednesday's cage. And of course, they're not that big of crickets, but. She's back there in her den. And then she's been busy burrowing. I mean, really been busy digging up her enclosure. <laughs> it's like Hill City. I gotta put some fresh water in their cages. Ooh, there's a cricket right there. Go get a pumpkin. Go get it. You gotta go get it. Oh, I gotta fill up your water dish, too. You're not gonna be happy. Crap. I just filled up Wednesdays. I put Wednesday back down there. I don't know. Maybe she'll wait until later to come out. Here's Beta. I don't know where Beta is. God, I still gotta get on my gear here and get these damn stickers off. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the ZooMed and Zilla and all their enclosures, but guys need to make a better stickers. Like, I'm still trying to scrub these off. These are ZooMed's creature. Uh, three gallon enclosures. I wish they would definitely make different stickers. I find a different way to put them on there. Because they're just such a pain to get off. Oh, where does this go? Dang it. He was daydreaming near his pool. He just filled up their water dish. It was cute. 
had his two little feet in the front, and then he had his head propped up, like he does from time to time. No crap, pot ran off. Ah. I'll catch up with him later. Dang it. I really can't wait to Tuesday, guys. I'm super excited for this enclosure to be up and occupy. Really, really excited. The new baby is going to look beautiful in there. I should really be getting some sleep. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I gotta get him awake. He's really excited. Got two more days though. But, I'm going to try to get some sleep. And I will catch up with you guys later. I had tennis laid off. I'm kind of waking up Avery. I don't want to be bothering her anymore. She needs to have sleepies. She's baby. She needs sleep. Yeah, more tissues, but she's a silly girl. But yeah, anyways, I'll catch up with you guys a little later. There's Jace. Hi, Jace. He's getting so big. So freaking big. I'm gonna end up getting him one of those new Paladorian enclosures. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Especially because he's definitely uh, arboreal. Of course, most geckos are. And I say most because my short fingered geckos are not arboreal. And there, of course, are three little munchkins in their little sand dune cage. But most other ones, besides the short fingered geckos and the leopard geckos, the rest of them are mostly arboreal. So, yeah, I want to get him one of those new Paladonian cages. Or I want to get him. Ooh, we're losing focus. Oh, he ran off. But, yeah, anyways, I want to get him a bigger cage. Alright. Just doing a baby check. I'm surprised Leona's not out. Actually, I'll go get her some water. There's Morticia. God, like nobody's out. <laughs> it's pretty chilly out tonight. It's a cool night.